Hello. It is Friday, January 13th, 2023. I'm Larissa. And today, I'm going to discuss some taboo. So, it's been a while since I've done a card reading, and no, I'm not going to do a card reading right now. But I am going to talk about something else. I'm going to talk about the crystal ball. Mm. Here. We have a crystal ball. Oh, but wait. Where's the other? Oh, really now? So, what am I talking about? People break into my house all the time and they take things. And something that has been taken, I had a smoky quartz crystal ball. This is a quartz ball with some inclusion. But I had another one and it is missing. Recently, I purchased this. This is also a crystal ball. This is man-made. This is a marble. This is a real thing. I bought this at a antique shop. The woman purchased it from an estate. So, the crystal ball. Now see, this is a real deal. Look. Everything is upside down through the crystal ball. What is the crystal ball? Well, throughout history, crystals, natural occurring stones, this one is um, cut Lapidary work has been done, but this is a natural stone. This is leaded glass, All right? Crystals, stones, have been seen as keepers of history, of ancient knowledge. And these things are used in processes such as scry uh, scrying, dowsing, they are used as points for drishti. All right. For for mystic communication, for accessing the akashic. Now, with the invention or the discovery of how to make glass, came the crystal ball the leaded crystal ball, which is used in fortune telling. So this is more of a scheme, right? So this would sit in the center of the table. There'd be a hole underneath, right? And the person who came for the reading, their, their pocket would be picked and information about them would be held underneath, right? And whether there's photos in a person's wallet or their uh, license or whatever, it would be seen by the reader through the crystal ball. Because there would probably be a child, a niece, nephew, daughter, son, who would be under the table. 
under the table dealings. However, it comes from a real and ancient practice. Right. You don't need to use a crystal ball. You can use just about any object. So, this is a very, very cool thing. What did I buy this for? It came with its original little box. Did I pay like $22 for this? $22. I wish I knew the family name from which it came. Because it's a lot of history. I have not used it. I have not used it to douse. But I do have it sitting here. Perhaps it came to me because somebody stole my other one. You know, those are the worst kinds of things to steal. And whatever comes to you, as a result, you deserve. That is bad, bad juju. Mm -hmm. It is bad karma. Particularly taking such stones from such a person as myself. May you get what you deserve. And may those around you Get what they deserve. Happy Friday the 13th. <laughs>